Hello everyone, Lunar Lilac here to share a warning with all of my fellow artists. This is an artist beware video on the user Burning White. Also known as Monk White, Monk, and Shiree. They also have a account named Input. Now, before I continue, please note that I am not condoning a witch hunt of this user. Please do not harass, attack, or do anything otherwise inappropriate to them. This video is my side of the story. If you would like to share your experience, please visit one of my PSA links that I will put in the description down below. So if any of you watch me on DeviantArt, for Affinity, or Chuck Toy House, or possibly even Facebook, you may have noticed or read the PSA I have posted on White. But for those of you who don't know or don't feel like reading a bunch of text, I'm going to share it with you now. For the sake of keeping this video short, I will try to summarize things as best as I can and highlight some of the main stuff. If you want to read the full journal, please go check out the DeviantArt PSA as that is my most up-to-date one. Now, to begin, all of this began January 2017. I entered a mascot contest for the Deggle species group. Soon after winning, I was contacted by Burning White, and they congratulated me for winning and told me they loved my design, and then they asked me if I could make a base for the group for their staff and members to use. I thought, why not? I could get some more watchers since a bunch of people might see it, as I was a very unknown artist. Little did I know half a year later, this would turn into a huge drama with this user. But I'll get back to that in just a second. After agreeing to do the base, we moved our conversations to Skype as it was just quicker to message back and forth than using notes on DeviantArt. There was never any payment discussed for the base, and Whitehead asked for it to be done within a month. No sooner after asking that, they then asked me if I could do all the trade sheets. Now, I found that odd because I thought that's something you would ask your staff members or you would do yourself, not some random person on the internet that you just met. Nevertheless, I ended up agreeing to do it. Again, payment was never discussed for that either. And then right after this, both the base and trade sheet were pushed to the back burner while White insisted on commissioning me for a rough sheet of their character named Shara. What was I getting in return for this reference sheet, you might ask? A single character. Now, why claim that character to be worth $140? And let me tell you, I have never in my life met a more picky person than White when it came to art. While I was working on this reference sheet, she constantly complained about every little thing, even though it was just in the sketching phase. I had not even begun to line, color, or shade this reference sheet. I should also mention that they wanted not safe for work stuff on this reference sheet, which I would later find out is illegal for minors to commission not safe for work stuff. Since White is currently 16, please do not, under any circumstance, let them bully or commission you for any kind of not safe for work stuff. This user has nagged and begged other users, especially minors, for not safe for work art. They've also asked for gift art and free art and free characters, and they've also gone off after other characters that are not up for trade or for sale. They've even asked for priority in raffles and other events in closed species groups. Now, back to the commission. Whitehead started asking for things that were not originally agreed to when we discussed this commission. To name a few of the things that she wanted added, she wanted three different outfits, a few different hairstyles, and a few different headshot emotions. Now, when I had asked for more payment because there was extra things being added, she told me that she could not pay me in US dollars or points because they were in the process of paying for a $5,000 character known as Input. Now. Instead, they offered me cheap one-point adoptables, and when I said no to every single one they linked, they then showed me two of their characters that they knew I liked. But, there were some very unpleasant terms that came with these characters. First, if I broke the friendship between White and myself, I had to give the characters back. That is a big red flag, as they'd be making off with a free reference sheet while I just lost the payment I had gotten for making that reference sheet. Secondly, I had to keep any kinds of ships I made with them and that they had already had before. 
One of them I had to keep the co-own between me and White, and another I had to keep them as a twin brother of another design that White had. Now, finally, I could not make any kind of gore art or kill these characters off, or they would become White's characters again. All of these being big red flags for me, I declined this offer and eventually told them I canceled their commission, and as I wanted nothing more to do with it because I had already not even been paid my promised pay, or they didn't even want to try to work out a better payment without giving me ridiculous terms as to why I couldn't have those characters unless I did certain things. Now, needless to say, they kept nagging me for, to finish this piece of art, which I never did. Right before this white head, guilt tripped another piece of art out of me. Now, that was gift art, yet white treated it like it was a commission. White had asked me f to do four different versions of this gift art after I had finished the first piece. You can find both of the safe for work versions of that gift art on my Deviant Art. The um, two not safe for work versions are not up yet because of being a minor. You can also find the Shar Commission, the sketches of that, the safe for work version on my Deviant Art. I will not have the sa uh, not safe for work version up for a while. I have it up because. White has an issue with not crediting artists where they deserve credit. When me and another user worked on the trait sheets, White decided that they didn't have to credit us claiming that we did nothing. Even though we came up with the original concepts of those tales when they were drawn out. As well as a few other things. But White decided that we didn't need credit. Thankfully, their co-founder, Lyra Lyons, put credit on there for us when she finished these trait sheets. And she even told White that they had to credit us for this. So thank you, Lear Alliance, for doing that. Um, after this, White then tried to force me to finish either the trait sheets or the star reference as compensations for backing out of her reference, her base, and the trait sheets. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's not so bad. But that's not the worst of it. Next up, White tried to force me into a poly relationship with her. At the time, I was already in a relationship with my current partner, which is why White asked me if we could have a poly relationship. If you don't know what poly dating is, I recommend go looking that up. However, I'm not fond of poly dating as I like monogamous relationships. I have nothing against other people doing those things, but I also did not know White was transgender at the time when they were trying to confess their love for me after only knowing me for like a month. When they learned that they couldn't get into a relationship with me, they tried to force me to split half of my time with them and half of my time with my boyfriend. Meaning my boyfriend would get me in the afternoons while she would get me at night. Now normally my boyfriend got me the whole afternoon all night. But she wanted me at night because she demanded to have somebody call her before she went to sleep because she claimed she was paranoid of something. In my case, this was anywhere from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can imagine how much of a pain that was, especially if you have to get up early the next day. Before calling her for bed, she would demand I watched movies with her every Friday night or that I streamed my art to her, or played a game with her, or taught her art. Now, let me tell you, when it came to teaching her art, she cried having no motivation, and she didn't even try to do the sketches herself. Instead, she would scribble around and pretend like her tablet was acting all weird and stuff, and then later on she would turn around and blame me for not teaching her how to draw, as for the reason why she couldn't draw. But as most artists know that art is self-taught, even in art classes, a lot of things are self-taught. Now, after this, she would start to bash my boyfriend and try to get me to break up with him. Shortly after I found out that she was transgender, she would start telling me that a noodle is only straight until wet. Every time that I told her I was straight and only interested in men. Now, she had also tried to force me to be bi-curious for her. After this, I ended up blocking her for the first time as I was tired of her bashing my boyfriend and all this kind of stuff she was doing. She then cried on my DeviantArt in notes asking to let 
me give her a second chance and let her gain her trust back. Which, believing in second chances, I allowed her back onto my Skype. I now regret that decision. She backed off of trying to date me, though later she would claim that we would be dating by the end of this year. Now, my second blocking had more to do with the Degel species this time and her actions in this group. Now, I had signed on to be a Degel designer for this species, a permanent one. This was one of the worst mistakes I made. White had forced me to use different poses for every design. They had to be unique poses. I couldn't use bases and I couldn't do any similar poses I had already done before, which I understand that makes the design more unique when you're selling it to an audience, but it was a little bit ridiculous. Now, I was for the most part okay with that, but the biggest thing I hated was when they always nagged me about how the noses looked or how she always tried to get me to tailor the design to what she liked exactly down to the very last detail. Now, I've gone back looking at my previous designs of Deggles and all the noses on them are different despite her telling me that they were pretty perfect after I finished them. But of course, I had to edit them at least a hundred times before they were perfect. Now, White had planned to try to force everyone in the Deggle species group to draw the anatomy exactly perfect. Because she wanted to have anatomy sheets made to force everyone to do this. However, that has yet to come to pass, and I doubt it ever will. But just in case, know what you're getting into if you do join that group. On top of this, they tried to have their co-founder, Lyra Lyons, copy Sandvamp slash Abs art style. They also tried to have me copy Lyra's style of how she drew Deggles. Again, this is a big red flag, and we told her that we were not going to copy somebody else's style. Needless to say, we never did, despite White still trying to push for it. During some of my designing processes, White had forced me to change markings because they hate certain things. Um, one of these things were spots. Cheetah spots, snow leopard spots, um, leopard spots, just in general spots. They hate spots because they claim that they are overused. And then they told me that they were banned from being used on the Dago species, even though nowhere in their journals and stuff does it say anywhere that spots cannot be used on Dago's. However, if this were the case, then all previous Dago designs would have to be remade so that they do not have any kind of spots. On another design that was originally supposed to be a rainbow theme, White forced me to make a fire theme because they thought the pose meant more fire than it did rainbow. On that design, I had many issues with White. They tried to force me to make a theme based on a wow elf image that they showed me. They wanted me to pick the colors straight off of the art, which I did not want to do. I ended up handpicking the colors because I felt I'd be ripping off somebody else's art. And then when I told White I wanted to use a black base instead of a red base, they told me I wasn't allowed to use a black base. And why might you ask? Because she claimed that there had been too many black bases recently and that she hated the color black. When I looked to see how many black bases there had been, there had only been maybe one. So I ended up having to go with a red base. Now, near the end of the designing process, White had proceeded to argue with me over how the fire on the design should be green, despite it not matching the red at all. After changing the fire, White proceeded to nag me about the silk color, claiming that it was too much black, and after posting the design, White then nagged me about the title I gave the, the adopt, and forced me to change it. I was at my wit's end at this point with White and told them to remove me from being a designer which ultimately led them to sending me to talk with their co-founder instead of them handling the problem themselves. As many of you know, the co-founder has practically been running the entire group herself because White is a bad species owner and would rather push all duties and drama onto their co-founder instead of splitting them up or handling it herself. She has brought mods into the group and left them sitting there and not doing anything because she just pushes all of the jobs onto her co-founder. 
Now, you might still be wondering, why should I block this user or avoid them? Some of you may have seen the drama on the character Royale. Royal was originally a Daigle design, and he was a part of the Daigle species before White had became the owner. When White became the owner, Xena left the species and pulled White out, but White reinstated this character even without Xena's permission, and Xena has been trying to keep it out of the species, but White has been very annoying and trying to take this character back, well, White decided to blackmail Royal's owner out of 150 US dollars to make White leave them alone. However, White did not leave them alone and is trying to make a copy design of Royal's character for themselves. On top of this, White is claiming themselves to be the creator of Deggles, even though Sanvamp slash Abs created them and even they are upset that White is trying to claim that they are the creator of Deggles. Now, White also does not like to give credit to artists where credit is due. They did not want to credit myself or another user claiming that we deserved um, no credit because we did nothing on the um, tail trait sheet, even though I originally drew the sketch and the other user fixed them up and redrew them, kind of, and then finally Lyra ended up finishing it off. And on another example of this, another user um, commented on one of White's art pieces because White did not credit them for the design and White told them that they didn't have to credit them because they didn't repost the art, even though it's common courtesy to credit an artist for a design regardless if they asked for it or not. Now, you may have also seen the Dego mascot I have been trying to reclaim this design as I have legal right to take it back and I am the creator of that design. Now, they recently nullified my mile prize which I had got for the design in trade and this is what is giving me legal right to take back this design. However, White is very persistent about how claiming how I am not legally allowed to claim this design back. So if you see this design anywhere, please report it as theft. Same with if you see Royale's design everywhere, it is theft. If it's not, by Zena or Royal Arts. So, White is also currently planning to post a beware up on me due to legally trying to reclaim my design. So if any of you see it in the Daigle species group or anywhere on any of White's accounts, just report it. Or note me about it or something. Now, if any of you are still in the Daigle Species group, I advise you to get out now while you can. Because as soon as the founder role is given back to White, you probably will not be able to get out. Lear Lines is so much better than going through White when it comes to redesigns or other stuff. Now, I also implore all of you to share this video and the journal versions of the PSA everywhere you can. Please, please protect yourselves and your fellow artists. This user is not somebody you want to hang around with or anything, as they will manipulate you, harass you, force art out of you, and other stuff. So thank you for listening, and I hope you take this journal and stuff to mind, as I am just trying to protect my fellow friends, watchers, and everything. Thank you again. Bye-bye.